So yes, finally, finally, finally! So of course I'm back with another really quick Pokemon Go video. So of course we actually got some new news that I kind of wanted to discuss, so let's kind of go over. Yeah, this kind of discussion video slash kind of review video though. So of course right now this is live in the game for everybody. Uh, starting May 17th, you can give people tickets now, your friends and stuff like that. Of course, it's a completely new function, size feature in Pokemon Go. Again, I won't spend too, too long in the video, I'm just gonna discuss and go over it. Because I was like, I was like, huh, this actually could be a good video for me. I was like, yeah, it actually could be a really good video for me just because it's like, I really not hearing anybody talk about this. And on top of that, as well, it's like, um, this is kind of pretty cool. Like, um, you can literally gift your friend a um, ticket right now, which is utterly insane so yeah like it's really really cool i like the idea of this i'm um, giving your friends a ticket so you can basically again it's probably good for, like go fast maybe like room four because a lot of people can ask is this worth it for like community days is it worth it for like um what am i call it that for like bonuses like this and stuff like that um i, I mean it's not bad like this is actually really good we can see rocky road right there this is just a perfect example of basically yeah you can do this even like before community day and stuff like that because it just happened this saturday at times it's recording it is for me i'm recording this right now on thursday but i'm gonna upload this right when i'm done with it anyway though so i'm gonna keep it kind of short so i'll upload it really fast but yeah um this actually is really worth it in my opinion i think it's actually really really worth it um i'll, I'll go over the notes and a little stuff like that right now so of course the notes you had to have to be a great buddy or higher so again it won't work you had to be a great buddy or higher um to your friend uh, which takes, I think, like about a week though, and that doesn't take that long, I believe, though. So, for the first heart you'll get, um, I think, yeah, the first heart you'll get, you'll get day one. The second heart you'll get, of course, is, um, after a week and stuff like that, of course. I don't think it takes that long to get to Great Buddy, which is actually pretty simple and easy. If it was Best Buddy, it would have been insane, because that takes, like, what, almost at least three months just to get Best Buddy, and that's just grinding, like, a hard, non-stop opening gifts, everything would every single day but there are like different events like i think it's happening at least twice in pokemon go as, as i played it they'll give you like bonus friendships um new like december of course they do that because you know friends gifts and stuff like that i think they, they, they think they did just recently i think for new year's i think they did it as well i, I thought they just recently did this though like giving um bonuses because you get double bonuses like for those days like have double bonuses to where you can it'll count like it'll count one day of have, interacting with a person in pokemon go the two it'll, like, it'll speed it up way faster like i got i think during the whole, that whole event when that came out, when I first started doing it, it took me to think, like, I got like, what, I think like, four or three best friends in like, what, like a couple of days. It did not take that long, I was opening it every single day. I was playing the game every single day. It was a whole bunch of different stuff though, so that was actually um, pretty cool and everything. I like that. Um, so yeah, like during bonus events and stuff like that, that's a really good um, idea to take an example and everything, of course, for um, this. So yeah, um, but yeah though, um, this actually really is not that bad. I think it's actually pretty cool and everything, of course though. Oh, my dog. oh, there you are. Hey, buddy. What's up? Hey, hey, nosy. Hey, nosy. Good morning. What's up? Okay. You just want some attention? You furry. <laughs> right, my dog's right there. Hey, diggy. Chill. But yeah. Um, sorry about the bell and everything. That typically happens. But yeah, like this actually is really worth it, in my opinion. Like the new, um, of course, like I said, the, for the community days coming up, like Geo Dude. I mean, you really don't need a ticket like for those, just because it's just like, oh yeah, adding on to the story where you can basically evolve the Pokemon, the more you evolve it, the more better rewards you get and everything. It's not bad though, but it's also like you really don't need to do that just because the community days, like these, I guess they're going down this format now. It's two to five p.m. or like like eleven to like two p.m., which isn't that bad. At, like starting off early in the morning, then going to the afternoon. Um, they get shortened down the community days. I think it's I didn't like it before, but now I think that's really good because like the whole day you are just playing Pokemon Go, pretty much from eleven a.m. to five p.m. But they do, short, and they also do kind of spend the time a little bit because you wouldn't do all the Pokemon during that community day. After like after like this stuff spawning, you do have to kind of quick evolve them all because you want those community day moves. Or you going to the end of the year like I am probably going to do anyway. Like stuffle, like, like I messed up, and you can evolve it near um December, which I already had to do because I got a lot of shiny stuffle and like over like a thousand candies or one thousand four hundred candies. And next day they really go on stuff for community day. I didn't. I, I felt like I didn't. I felt like I caught a lot. And I got a lot of good stat ones, and they're all really, really good. But yeah, um, but yeah, like for community days, like you do, like you really don't need the whole story research line again. You can leave it or take it. You really don't need to do it. Oh shoot, I'm so sorry about that. I am so sorry about that. My computer does. I, I, I keep forgetting about that. That always happens for me. Um, my face cam might not come back in frame. Oh, perfect. Actually, okay. Sorry about that. That usually happens. I forgot about that. My, my whole screen fall. You know, for you guys, my whole screen freezes. For me, I just like holy crap. My whole screen just goes black. But yeah. Um, I'm gonna keep that in the video. That happened to me at least like three times already this year, though. But yeah, like I said, though, like for the story research and everything, um, like you really, 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 
I think my mouse is dead, but okay, I'm gonna come back. But yeah, like I said, like community days, like Geodude coming up um, this uh, this time. Um, like you really, 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 really don't need to do the story research storyline. You could just, you know, you know, get this done. Again, community days, you it, it's like a hit or miss. You really don't need the research. As I've done this for you play, you really, really don't need it unless you're hardcore grinding. You want it. Again, it's like it's literally a take it or leave it for community days. Like you really don't need to do it though. Like I said, the 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. format. I think I like that. Or either 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Um, I think it's a little bit kind of like not late, just because you know people you know suddenly go down early for some people now because they like saving and everything. But on top of that as well, um, you did do community days a perfect example. Like community days, you really don't need to do it. Now it's like they're going down this format where you're gonna have a lot of a whole lot of bonuses. You're gonna have a whole bunch of like stuff like trading, Excel candy. They did, they did this for stuff, and I do like this. Though. Like they're showing down the time, but just getting massive amounts of, of bonuses. Though, like I said, for community days, you really don't need to do it if you want to. Yeah. But if like Joe do specifically knows some star that everybody knows to be out going crazy and everything, I am too, because I need a lot of star dust and I'm way behind on that. But yeah, even like star pieces, of course manga stop, um gives you more of a bonus now. Uh taking up the screenshots, of course the bundles, uh the free pokeballs, also of course XL candy now. Um which is really good I think you're catching so much. Again, the spawns are really insane. You'll get like well at least like ten to five spawns like, if you're walking or doing something really, really stupid or crazy. But yeah. But a lot of people guys like always like go fast work at the hero stuff. Well, that's not bad though. Like again, you get a lot of free stuff. Like these Pokemon are all free for everybody. Um, for like every ticket holder and non-ticket holder, it's not that bad. Um, okay, that was going crazy. I was like, am I hearing stuff? But yeah, even like stuff like this, I actually did. I didn't open up the English translation, but you guys can kind of get it. Like Dark Ryan, Cresselia are gonna be free for everybody. Like all this stuff is gonna be free for everybody. Like right here, like Pantsier. Um, among this shiny, like the XL candies, the um, extra star does the bonuses, like all this is gonna be free for everybody, regardless, no matter what. Though, like, you really for, for Gold it is kind of different though, because again, like, it's gonna be a whole bunch of spawns, you get um, you know, a lot of Pokemon and stuff like that. But even if you don't do it, it's fine, like, you really, 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 really don't need to go crazy or ham over this stuff, though. Like, again, it's worth it and good, but like, you really, really don't need to like go full on ham for this stuff, though. I would free play for a long time, so I can't really say anything, but um. You know, the ticket again is like 14 bucks, like to give to a friend. That's like what, at least, like for me, whew, that's like at least like your, almost 30 bucks just for two people. And that's gonna be really insane. That's almost like 45, three people, maybe 40 or 60. So, um, you know, go fast and stuff like this. It is completely different though, because again, these are worth it though, but at the same time, giving it to a friend for one person is gonna be a lot, a lot of money for you though. So, maybe not, probably. I, I will say, I doubt it though, but, um, you can like say like this, like all this right here is going to be free for everybody pretty much. I made a whole video breaking all this stuff down. Um, right here is going to be like, um, again, right here is going to be for like all the ticket holders and everything. And of course, you know, not ticket holders. Again, you get like little stuff like tasks, research, luxury rocket booms, extra bonuses. Again, it's just little, little, little bonus stuff. Like it's nothing like crazy to go around though. But I mean, it's not bad though. Like tickets and stuff like this, again, during big events. If you're doing like meetups and hanging out with your friends and stuff like that and doing this, I get it. But on the other hand, it's like, you really don't need to give this to a friend. Um, maybe you want to, if you really, really, really want to. But, um, on the other hand, though, um, again, I want to say it is worth it. If you have the, a lot of money and you want to have a friend who can't afford it, that's really good, though. But at the same time, you really don't need to, like, give your friend, like, stuff like this. Because, again, for, like, all ticket holders, not ticket holders, it still is, like, relatively still worth it. Like, again, like, for me, um, Jutsu Tour this year, um, I didn't really, like, I didn't have to buy a ticket. I would just... I had like a lot of friends who gave me raids and stuff like that, of course. Um, again, you get like little prizes, again, you get like, like a school surprise that you can't get anywhere, even though you're gonna get it like two or three months later, like the season of homage. So, you got like the gooey hat, the um, like, again, you're gonna get end up getting a lot of this stuff for free anyway. And get all these funds, like, they're not going anywhere, they're gonna stay in the game regardless. So, it's just gonna be lots of time for these events or something else because it's gonna happen with this stuff like later down the road, though. So, like I said, you really, 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 really don't need to go like full on crazy giving to their friends and stuff like that. But if you have the money, if you have a lot of money, giving it to like a couple, of, like a friend, if a, like two or three friends, like it's crazy though. But um, yeah, I'm just saying though in general. Um, I'll say probably not as much though if you really want to save your money and just kind of be cheap and stuff like that though. But yeah, the other bonuses of course is refunding. You cannot refund it, which you give it to a person though, so you can't try to refund it. Uh, it cannot be canceled. Um, they cannot cancel a gift after um, it's been per after it's been sent. You go to give to twenty people a day. So yeah, again, that's like a lot of like over probably hundred bucks to be doing it for like Go Fest this year. Again, it is worth it if you really, really, really want to get it though. But if you can't afford it, you can't afford it. Like me, I just 
it's like it's fine. I don't care. I can. I'll take the spawns. I'll take the little research and everything. Of course, I don't mind. Again, it's like it's like adding on story, adding a little bit more to get more spawns and stuff like that. Even though when you walk around, you can get take a spawns anyway, though. But yeah, for like do you do community day again? You really don't need to do it for like community days like this now because of the new format they're going down though. But for like GoFace, like you really don't need to get for friend of that again for ticket holders, not ticket holders, free play people. It's like it's still worth it overall though. It's like it's still really really good no matter what though again gifting it um it, i think it's a good idea like this is a really good idea though um for like, community days if you really want to go that far and of course um for people again you do have to be a great buddy and beyond though but for people who like again like i said you really don't need to do this like you really 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 don't need to do this but on the other hand as well um try to get it right now on the other hand um it is good though like if you're being nice and stuff like that you'll be generous you want to just Go all out and give this to people. I think it's really worth it overall in general. I think it's really, really worth it. I'm not doing stuff like that. It's not okay, I think I'm just going crazy. But yeah. Of course, though, like I said, I'm probably going to end the video there for sure, though. But yeah. Is it worth it to help out a friend? Yes, it is. Uh, for community days, probably not as much. Like, you really, really, really don't need to. You really don't need the story research line. But um, if you just help out somebody, you just want to do it because you feel like it, go ahead. Um, you really don't need to waste, like, like again, it's like a dollar for like, community day stuff. And in general, um, the community day formats have been really good, so I don't think it's really worth it to get a ticket for community day. Again, just following the Pokemon. It just gives you more chances to get the Pokemon. Just like extra little stuff, that's it. You really don't need the story for your research line. If you want to, yeah, like a content creator for good content. If you want to do this and that, it's really good. But I think overall, probably not really. Like, you really, really, really don't need to do this. Like, you really don't need to do it. Um, but on the other hand as well, um... Again, like I said, for, research, for community days, you really don't need to do it now because in the format for GoVest and stuff like that, it's going to cost you a lot of money, though, so I probably don't really recommend doing that unless you want to really, really, really help out somebody, unless you have a lot of money. Probably your back pocket again. Pretty, pretty much it for well, like, really play, pay, pay for the players. Yeah. See so you guys later, though. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, Crowley. You know, so it says that Washer and the Goblins all be going out. Put it away. Matt's on the paper. Rule ready to. Get vaccinated if you can. Uh, go outside, touch some grass, play Pokemon Go. I don't know. So, why you guys take a ball and zip though? Of course, like, you hate it again. It is actually worth it if you try to help out a friend and stuff like that. For, like, but for, like, Go Fest, if you want to help out yourself, you probably want to use the field research to take it for yourself. But, again, just really, just if you really want to help out a friend. For community days, not really. You don't really need to do it, though. Again, unless you're hardcore Pokemon grinding or content creator. Yeah, but again, if you, or if you really just want to be curious or whatever, like you really just don't need to do it for community days because of your formats and everything. And for GoFest and stuff like that, it's gonna cost you a lot because the tickets are gonna be a lot, but it is worth it getting a lot of habitat spawns stuff. Even for non-ticket holders, it is worth it. Again, it's a yes and no. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. It's okay. It's again, you don't really do it. need to do it for it or whatever. Is it worth it if you want to? You want to have a friend or whatever? Like if I, if I could, I would. But for community days like that, like this for the new format, it's okay. But um, in the longer run, it's gonna cost you a lot of money though. So I'll probably say don't do it if you don't, if you can't afford it. But if you want to do it, you can. It's like a yes and no situation though. So yeah. See you guys later though. Okay, though. So.